Oh, how are we indie developers supposed to make games that even compare to this? They have graphics and... Wait. Can we? Technovi, the number one channel for your tech tutorials, news, and reviews. My name is Viraj Das, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be using the Electric Dreams demo to be making an environment in Unreal Engine 5 like this. As you can see, it has hyper re it has hyper realistic graphics, and is completely game ready. So we could just pop in a MetaHuman and use the third person template and we can just run around the environment and in fact this environment it's perfect for creating full-scale games but also cinematics because it just looks so real no one will ever know you used a 3d program to make this <laughs> it's our secret but anyways let's get started with the tutorial alrighty then here we are inside the editor and the second you open up the Electric Dreams Environment project, you'll be greeted with this beautiful... I... Yes. So, <laughs> the first thing we want to do is we can hit Control Space, or you could hit this button down here, but Control Space is easier, to open the content drawer. And from there, inside Levels, you could check out the Electric Dreams environment level. I highly recommend you to, because environment has put together, Epic Games has put together this beautiful environment. But we are going to be building our own forest in this video. But before we do any of that, I just want to show you how some of these things in PCG come to be. So for example, the ditch assembly, which we're going to be talking about, we're going to open this level here. And look, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Gotta bring that camera speed down to one. Here, like, just take a look at this. Now, for those of you who have uh, seen Quixel uh, mega scans and are familiar with them, does this look like a Quixel mega scan to you? Well, yeah, it probably does. But does it look like you've seen this before? No. Or at least to me, it doesn't. And. That's because if you right click on it and click edit here, you can actually see it's not one Quixel asset. Rather, Epic Games has made this embankment with multiple put together and even Quixel plants too. Because what's a forest without plants? They have the roots and all that. And so, this is one asset. They have made many and when you have something like this you can put them on a spline and there you go you now have an embankment that you can grab a point Here, we're just going we're gonna grab this we can move it and it'll just it'll adjust everything around it based on an algorithm we could extend it and it's so much more convenient doing that than say grabbing this okay we're gonna have that okay bring that in there yay no 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 splines the wonder of our modern and I'm kidding but they are really cool so that was the Electric Dreams PCG Ditch Assembly level. We're going to skip this because that will ruin the final result. I kind of already have, but it doesn't matter. Here is the assembly. We have this massive cliff. And again, each of these, multiple Quixel assets in one. And all of these will come together using... Give me a second. 
using these PCG graphs as like their algorithms and we can build something like this completely modular I guess I, that might not be the right word but I will say it is quite modular like again splines grab it move it kapow there we go it's magical we can even change settings down here enable cliff eh, there we go if we don't want any landslides hurting our travelers on roads there we go if we don't want any of these annoying fallen trees to get in our path there we go but it's nature it has all that so we're just gonna leave them on here we might change that later on but oh wait yeah and now we can go back to levels breakdown levels and here this is an example of how we could have this path connect it to a spline use PCG and there we go a path completely spline based hyper realistic and super fun to play with but now that we have all that aside we can finally start to build some really cool stuff so you can build so you could go ahead make a folder and put your levels in there I called my folder tutorial and then click new level and now here's where you make a decision do you want to go basic or do you want to go open world now I want to go open world for sure when we're making a forest why not go open world but your decision your decision so open world create I'm not gonna save that I kind of <laughs> and then here we have it our beautiful triple-a landscape looks better than um, like the best triple-a games you've you've ever seen look at that we have the beautiful checker texture as the landscape material and we have these mountains that make zero sense at all just how we like it mm -mm. no so we can fix this don't worry don't worry fear not so over here just open up the landscape drop down scroll all the way down and then we are going to scroll even more down on the details panel make sure you're not on any other panel if you have them open if you don't then you're good <laughs> all right then auto and then we're going to choose the mbg landscape auto as the landscape material and there we go no more checker pattern we have run into another problem which is we have all these textures that are tiling and it looks super natural, right? Because this is what nature is. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry. We, we will figure this out. As in, we don't need to do anything because this next step. Oh, it's mind-blowing. So, we're going to go into content. And we can search forest B P. I'm going to go slowly because this is the magical part okay so we're gonna drag this out oh. actually I'm sorry the, pretend you didn't hear that we're gonna save that for when we get to the super duper uber cool stuff okay then we're gonna put in 1.963 I know you proud of me I did the math um, 963 on the X and Y axes not the Z axis and now you can see that it fits our landscape and then now now I should do the that sound because when we hit generate so we're gonna we would be here scroll down to PCG demo forest when we click generate Ooh. yeah now you're not, you might not be able to tell what this is or why we're even doing it, but if you get in, oh, look at that. You can already tell it's a forest. 
we get in closer. Look at that. One click, the generate button, has given you an entire forest. And if you can see here, Nanite enabled, Lumen enabled, right out of the box, ready to go. Now, this could be a game on its own, right? You put your character in there. Oh yeah, speaking of characters, we should probably do that now. So, go in add, add feature or content pack, third person, and add to project. I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna click that button, but well, you click it, and then uh, we'll use that later on, okay? So, Nanite Lumen works, everything, perfect. Then, what we can do is, we can find a nice clearing in the forest. We don't even need to, but it'll be good. I guess this here works. Then, we can type PCG demo, and we'll find this PCG demo ditch BP. So we're just gonna grab that and put it in. Look at that. This is uh, going to cut into our forest. The shape of the spine. Splines, huh? Yeah. The splines are revolutionary. And we're just gonna let it do its thing over here. Look at that. And since it is a spline, we can actually go ahead and move any of these points. I'm just gonna make it into a nicer shape. One that just makes more sense to me at least. So you can take this time also to go ahead and, well, if you're following along, to go ahead and shape it out as you would like. Go shape it to your heart's content. And right now, my heart is quite contented. Contented? Either way. So, now that you have your shape, looks good in your specific forest here, we can go back Make sure you're still uh, filtering by the words PCG demo. And you find PCG demo ground BP. Now you might be wondering, oh, well, we already have a ground, right? That's the landscape. We do, but when they say ground, they mean something different. They mean this kind of ground. It's like a kind of wet, rocky ground. And doesn't it look so good where you can literally see inside the uh, the ground and yeah no but we can fix that really really easily like it's mind-blowingly easy you go to PCG demo ditch BP and all you're gonna do is you're gonna click clean region down here there we go and now remember we were talking about the embankments yeah look at that along the spline, it has created the embankments. And it looks so much more natural. Now, of course, you will have problems, like over here, but it's nothing that a little adjusting can't fix. There we go. Just gonna let it load up. Now, what you're gonna do is you are just going to go around, find all the problems, and adjust your spline until you get most of them fixed. And you can do that, but for the sake of this tutorial and keeping things very quick, very short, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh, actually it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, other than that, yeah. All right, then, remember we were talking about the assembly? Well, we can just type assembly and we're going to grab the asset that's called BP PCG large assembly. We grab it and we're just going to boop. There we go. I'm just going to pull it down and look at that. See, we have all the options we had in the uh, level 
because this is a blueprint class. So say I don't want this cliff here. You know, actually, the cliff looks pretty good here. So I don't want the fallen trees. There we go. And again, completely spline based. Move it. It's adjusted. There we go. So customize it, once again, to your heart's content. And then, from there, we can simply go to this area here and bring in a player start. Rotate it to wherever you want them facing in the beginning. And then, there's a really important part. Earlier on, we, in, we got the third person template into the project. So then, we can open the world settings, scroll down, and on game mode override, put the BP third person game mode. And there it is. So, then what you can do is press play. And look at that. You have now successfully built yourself. Oh, oh there, there's a problem. But like I said, go on, adjust the splines, fix it, and there it is. There you have it. You have now officially built a forest scene, hyper realistic, triple A quality. And you should you shouldn't really be seeing the metahuman. But you should be seeing Quinn. But if you do want a tutorial on how to add the metahuman into this project, go ahead, ask in the comments below, and if enough people want it, I will make it. So now you can just run around, enjoy this world, of course, tweak the problems, fix it, and if you do want to take this to another level, you can always search fog, BP fog card, and, you know, put it somewhere in the scene, in the distance, not in the distance, wh wherever it looks good. Now, this is all based on what looks good in your level. Like, see? That fog looks pretty good in the background over there. Yeah. And then we can duplicate it, put it over here. We could duplicate and rotate put it all the way back there and you have a forest scene well thank you so much for why is this in my hand again okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something about unreal engine and the new pcg features and if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe because we are so close to 100 and oh, probably shouldn't have shown you that but anyways so please subscribe if you have any questions if you run into any problems or if you just want to request a future video don't hesitate to put them in the comments below or in our new discord server which sadly nobody has joined so please go and join that link is in the description and i hope to see you in the next video